Dude, this feels so weird. I'm by myself. You can do that when you're by yourself. <laughs> I like this. I like this. What's up, everybody? It is DJ Thick. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another video officially with the Thicks. Um, but it's just me today. As you guys can see, my better half is not here. Mrs. Thick is not here. She's probably in the room watching a Filipino movie or something. On the wings of love. Now, the reason why I'm doing solo today is because I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that is very important to me. It's something that I feel a lot of people are dealing with, but not a lot of people talk about it. So today's topic will be living with anxiety. Uh, it's something that I've dealt with since I was a youngin. I was 16 years old when I was first experiencing anxiety and learning about anxiety and what exactly it was. Now, anxiety, anxiety is, um, Keisha, can you please take these onions out of the table, please? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but all jokes aside, today's topic is going to be anxiety and how I've learned to live with it uh, from the age of 16 to the age that I am now, which is 30 years old. Some of the things that I've learned that have helped me deal with anxiety and uh, some of the experiences that I've had. Before I get into any of it, I want to let you guys know what anxiety means to me. It's, to me, it's a feeling of uncontrol. For a moment in time when I'm having an anxiety attack or when I've had them in the past, it's 10, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, who knows how many, how much amount of time, but it's a certain amount of time where you're going through a situation and it's a scary one. You know, you feel like you can't breathe. You feel like your chest is tightening up. You feel like the walls are closing in. You're sweating. You're, you're twitching. You're, you're not knowing what it is that you're going to get through it or if you're going to get through it. Huge amount of fear that goes to your mind. Fear, it's frustration, it's pain, and all in one, it's just the perfect storm of feelings. And it's, it's something that's very difficult to go through. And I know a lot of people out there are going through that or have gone through that in the past. And I just want to let you guys know that you're not alone. And I encourage you to speak about it because I think speaking about it is something that will allow you to overcome it. If you guys know me, you guys know that I never talk about my anxiety. I, I just don't go to people, even close friends and talk to them about the situations that I've gone through. It's because I fear that when I tell people about my anxiety, that they'll look at me differently. You know, they'll think I'm a less of a man or they'll think he's a coward or he just needs to get over it. You know, it's just me feeling like I'm, I'm fearful of telling people because I'm afraid of how they'll look at me. I want to let you guys know that talking about anxiety doesn't make you less of a person. I never heard somebody who was experiencing anxiety talk to me about anxiety when I was going through it. And I wish somebody could talk to me about it that was actually going through it because that would help me to be more inspired, to know that I can get through it because this person got through it. But I think it's just that fear that I have now that I've had all this time that other people had at that time that they didn't want to talk to me about it because they're afraid of what people would think about it. It may not be at the level and state that it was before now, but it's still definitely a big part of my life. One of the things that has helped me get through anxiety is to know the difference between what anxiety is and what reality is. Let's just picture it as a box. We start putting into that box in our mind, filling that box up with fears, with doubt. I'm starting to not be able to breathe. I, I, I feel like I might have anxiety attack in front of my friends. What if, they, what if they look at me a certain way? What if everyone's looking at me while I'm twitching? What if everybody's wondering why I'm coughing so much? And we keep feeding to this, and this box eventually gets full. What I've learned to do is I've learned to take this box of reality. In this box, I like to say things like, yeah, you're going through that feeling, you feel like your chest is tightening up, but guess what? You've been through this a hundred times and you've gone out through the other side perfectly fine. You feel like you're going to be embarrassed in front of your friends, but your friends have supported you. You feel like you're not going to survive, but you've lived. The difference between that reality and anxiety is what gives me the strength to keep moving forward. It truly is a mind game when it comes to anxiety. A lot of you guys know I do funny content on my videos. I, I have a very jokey attitude all the time. I like to make people laugh. I love to bring people joy. And as much as that is for you guys, it's even more for me. That joy reminds me of the great things in life. That laughter reminds me that there is things to laugh about in this world that 
there's things to be happy about in this world. Now, those things that I do, it's just because I found that those are the things that keep me feeling good, that keep me away from the stresses and the anxiety. Being able to lay into my passions, being able to make people laugh, being able to joke around, being able to be myself. Maybe I haven't spoke about it openly like I am now, but I've always put into my music. You, you can listen back on my music and I felt like the music has always been an outlet for me to be able to explain how I feel. Doubts, pains, fears, anxiety, depressions, all those things that I've gone through, I put them in my music. Now, that's a way of therapy for me. I have a lot of twitches. You know, a lot of you guys might have seen me twitch my arm a lot or move my, crack my back a lot or move my head like this or cough or, you know, like even those. I move a lot, I, I cough a lot, I'm not sick. Those are just part of the Tourette's. Those things are very frustrating to go through, you know? Coughing, coughing, coughing all day and, and people are like, oh, um, are you sick? Do you need something? Do you need... I know people are looking out for you, but imagine the frustrations of people always thinking you're sick all the time or, you know, people always thinking you're this and that. And luckily the Tourette's is not like huge, you know, part of it, but it's a certain things and I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, you know, certain coughs or certain moves. I always joke around that the reason why I got into DJing is that so I can do my twitches and nobody would really even know I was twitching. They'd be like, that DJ's feeling the music. And I'd be like, this health condition that I have with the twitches, with the Tourette's, with the anxiety, it's something that I have and I'm not getting rid of it. So I can't just live in that situation and constantly just think about all those things that I'm going through because it's it's not gonna do anything for me. Thinking about that situation over and over, just feeding into that anxiety and I'm not gonna be able to live my life and life is hard enough already. I've learned to be positive about situations. For those of you that are dealing with anxiety, positivity plays a big part. Keep positive, even when I don't wanna feel positive. Even if I feel like I'm having a hard time breathing, even if I feel like I don't wanna get out of bed, I just, feed off that positivity. I, I keep making music, keep making fun content, fun videos. I keep trying to make people laugh. Another thing that I've learned about anxiety is that anxiety tends to lead sometimes to depression, you know, because you're feeling like you keep going through these episodes. You feel like you keep repeating this process over and over and eventually and understandably it leads you to depression. As a matter of fact, when I was 16, I was drinking these medications. Now these medications were strong and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit out my Twitches either. I'm gonna let you guys see all my Twitches in this video. So when I was 16, I got diagnosed as I was telling you guys. I started taking this medication. Now this medications, the medications that they give you for anxiety and depression are some strong medications. I was first taking them, um, I literally had to get off the medication because it was so strong to where I was fearful to get in my car because I thought my car was gonna blow up. I thought I was gonna get sucked up into the sky. And this is no joke, guys. This is, this is reality of what that medication was doing to me. Actually, they found a medication that, was, that worked for me that was not as strong. This medication was working for me. It was giving me what I needed to not deal with this anxiety. But I started to research the medication and how it affects the body. It was just something that I didn't really like. It's something that I didn't want to be taking my whole life. I didn't want to depend on a substance to make me feel better. Because when that substance runs out, I literally feel like a drug addict. I'm like, I'm calling the doctor and the doctor's like, oh, I need to see you. And have you ever thought about killing yourself? And it's just like, you feel like you're under interrogation to get a refill on some medication for some of you are going through. I hated that feeling, guys. What really motivated me to get through that situation of taking medication is that I was about to get married and I was like, this is the moment in time when you need to make decisions that are gonna be better for the future of not only you anymore, decisions that you're now making for the better of your family. So I stopped taking the medication because this was the best thing for me in the future. If we have kids, I don't have that medication in my system. If I don't wanna be depending on this medication. So with the help of my wife, I was able to, and the doctor of course, able to dose me off of the medication. So the first two weeks was easy. A month, easy. Two months, easy. My third month, guys, I started feeling this depression. I didn't wanna get out of bed. I didn't wanna do anything outside. I didn't wanna go anywhere. 
I cried just for no reason. I just felt like it was so weird, this feeling that I'm going through, and I, I got hit with the depression hard. I've dealt with depression before because of the anxiety when I was young, and I've, I've had thoughts of not ending my life, but wishing that God can just take me in that moment. Just take all the pain away, take all the suffering away. A feeling that you would be better off not alive than, than going through this daily battle. And that's a sad feeling to have to go through. Now, going through this later on in my life, when I stopped taking the medication, I started to feel those feelings again. On my knees, just asking God, why am I going through these situations? And, you know, it, it felt like a pity party. It really did. I was going through these situations and I was really starting to get to that depressed feeling and I didn't like where that situation was heading. That's when I had to really talk, talk to my mentors and, and people that care about me, family, my wife. And my wife helped me tremendously. I don't want to go too much far into detail, but my wife is my rock. When we were only about a year into our relationship, I was so deep into this anxiety that I wasn't able to leave my house for a year. My wife literally rented a room like two blocks away from my house just so that she can be with me every day because I couldn't leave my house. When I tell you guys that my wife is the best thing that ever happened to me, it's because she has proven to me time after time that she's gonna be there no matter what. She was just my girlfriend, guys. She didn't have to be there for me. She didn't have to see me crying every night saying that I wish God would just take my life. She didn't have to be there for those moments. Um, I get, I get a little bit, <laughs> don't cry. I get a little bit, Theory on when I talk about that because I feel like that depression and anxiety has hit hard and every time it's hit, she has been there by my side to encourage me, to tell me it's gonna be okay, to pray for me, to, to feed life into me. I love her for that. When I was going through that situation after we were married, I had to hone in on it, talk to my mentors, talk to the people around me and really pray about it. I started reading and my, one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible, I don't wanna sound like I'm preaching. Oh Lord Jesus. I don't wanna sound like I'm preaching, but one of my favorite verses is Philippians 4 13, which says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I really believe that. My faith in God is what gets me through a lot of my anxiety because I know he's never once failed me when it comes to times that I've called out to him and said, God, get me through this situation. So what happened was I, I stopped taking the medication. You know, I prayed, I, I, I realized that I need to change my mindset. Okay, you're not taking this medication anymore. You don't need this medication because you've gone months without this medication now. So you are okay without the medication. It's been like over two years now I haven't taken medication. It's been an amazing feeling, guys. You have no idea. Not needing to depend on medication anymore. Not needing to refill these bottles of, of substance to make me feel better. I don't wanna talk down on medication because I know there's a lot of people that take medication and it works for them. And by all means, I don't wanna talk you out of the medication that you're taking. This is just my personal experience. And me giving up that medication is one of the best things that I've ever done. Lastly, I wanted to talk to you about my music. Music is something that I felt has got me through a big part of my anxiety because I think music is my therapy. When I tell you music is my therapy, I'm telling you it's, it's a real thing. I could never go up to a friend or a person, even a mentor and tell them, this is what I'm going through. I feel this, 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 and this. I can't do it. I can't put those words in a way where I can express what I'm feeling. For some reason, when I put it into music, write these lyrics down that explain every single feeling that I have. Put that into to lyrics and let it out to you guys. I do that with my music because I feel like music is a good way for people to hear what other people are going through. It's a good way for you to tell your testimony. It's a good way for you to tell people that what you're going through so that they can know they're not alone and you can do it in a way that people can relate to. I'm able to put my life into music and speak to you in a way that I could never do if we were just talking face to face. Woo, I made my mouth dry. There it is, people. I hope this video encouraged you. I hope this video let you know that you're not alone if you're going through this. And I hope that if you're not dealing with this specific issue, that it's opened your eyes to kind of feel 
what other people who are dealing with anxiety go through on a daily basis. Thank you guys for joining into the Thick's official channel. If you guys are watching these videos, we are eating. And right now, we haven't been eating, guys. This is how we eat. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe. I am DJ Thick. My wife is Mrs. Thick. Rue is right there outside taking a number two. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let's go.